Hey everyone, welcome to Alchemy Star. So we're here to review Lenore's uh, skills, equipment, max breakthrough, possibilities. Um, also going to be showcasing a bit of a strategy with actual gameplay that I was able to record earlier. And also moving forward, um, strategy with other things included with Lenore. So we will be starting off with... Um, her skills, chain combo, and equipment. So uh, if you guys are not familiar with the sanity system, just going to have a, um, what do you call it? A short, short, what do you call this? Short um, description of it. Uh, more damage comes, but actually there will be a lot of debuffs uh, affecting your team or this Aurorian herself. Um, just want to emphasize here, if you want to drop the sanity system, it's uh, it's preferred that you drop it up to between 79 to 50 because all enemy units are subject to the above. So this is actually your safe zone, if I may say, in terms of your sanity system. But obviously, you have to take um, her, Lenore, and Giles up to zero if you can to maximize their damage and to maximize the mechanic of their kit okay so moving on active skill vermilion c preemptive strike cooldown is only one round so what does this mean every other round you can use her active skill so choose any one tile and select another one within two surrounding to generate a rectangular area technically this is going to be a area which is square not rectangle it's a nine three by three uh three by three rectangular as uh, a square that uh, has nine squares so three times three nine so you can actually um use your active skill in nine tiles which is dealing 333 damage to tiles so 333 is a big amount um, but again, you have to deal with the sanity system once you attempt to lower your sanity. So each tile that in that rectangle deducts three sanity points. Okay, I'll explain later on how to use it because it plays a lot on the first um, use over what they call this use over active skill during the game the, the, the gameplay that uh, we will go through if an enemy sustains damage more than once the subsequent effect is reduced to 33 this applies to multi-tile bosses so this is not as bad as it seems um, i'll explain everything later because some are assuming that from the 30 333 percent damage it will go down to 33 percent so if you look at that that's a very small damage but we will explain all of that later so combo chain combo 5 9 and 33 so deal 133 damage to five rows when sanity uh so this is going to be it's gonna be focusing on this one so the condition just in case that you want to lower her um her chain combo from 33 to 15 her sanity should be below 75 so just gonna be um what they call this just gonna be um uh just gonna summarize this because this scrolls out a bit and uh, i'm not sure if if we can read this because this has been this is what I, what, what i don't like so when she is in in the insane state as well meaning when her sanity system drops down to zero then the condition instead of 33 it becomes five so when it's below 75 this 33 chain combo becomes 15 when it becomes um zero um this qualifier becomes five okay so that is just it i just want to explain it anymore because i can't read all of the words here so equipment if not in the calm state um meaning um her sanity points are 99 and below at the start of each round deal damage equal to one percent of the team's maximum hp to all enemies the lower the sanity the higher the damage increase up to 77 percent this is seven percent because um i already um leveled up her equipment to six the maximum of this is going to be 10. so that is her skill 
Okay, so let's go to her equipment and let's see our next level up. So from 6, I'm now at 6. This goes up to 10. Um, the feedback that I got from, you know, from those who have used it, it's a small damage. I know it's a small damage, but if you're facing mobs for this, this is going to be very good moving forward. So this is really tailored fit for a lot of smaller, smaller enemies. Not really smaller, but in terms of a lot. So it's also if they're hard to reach, then you will really benefit uh, from this equipment. So advice, I advise that you take this up to level 10 if you can. Then also for breakthrough. So this one is also going to help Lenore in, you know, um, every time an active skill causes damage, Lenore's max HP is boosted by 3%. So she has kind of a life, a bit of a life gain for this one small amount, but this would help. Then up to her max breakthrough, which is going to be important. The lower the sanity, the greater the damage increase up to 100% valid for Ascension 3. Definitely you'll be needing her. For this one to maximize all of her damage from chain combo, attack skill, even her equipment, you will be needing this. So hopefully in the future I can get more copies of her because this is your ultimate Lenore once you have her at max breakthrough. Okay, so that is it for her skills. Um, affinity as well. You need to take her up to max affinity because you need i think her max attack was around 3300 something so you need to do this and also for hp because she has a bit of um, hp increase uh, embedded in her breakthrough so let's go let's go through the um the demo that i had um this is an actual battle this is the last stage of the first part of the event the final boss so let's uh, just go through this. I'm gonna just be pointing out a few things that I, uh, what do you call this, that I was able to observe and I think you should know this as well. So this team, um, this is not really built for her survivability. This is just built to maximize damage for the boss. Uh, and also you have two converters here, of course. You have Arya to compare with Lenore in terms of damage, and you have Hero here for additional tiles for chain combo. So let's uh, move on with this. So first, I'm just going to forward this. Um, so I'm just going to play this out so that you can see the whole sequence of what I did. So what I did was basically make make sure that I can maximize my chain combo. So once the boss is out, um, trigger everything, trigger Arya because of her. So increase damage for chain combo, of course, for this turn only. Next would be the two converters, which I need for tiles. The other one would be packed to complement the... Um, tile conversion next would be hero to be able to deal damage and to connect missing you know missing gaps so that i could do a bigger chain combo and attack the boss from all three sides the last one as you can see here um i'm gonna pause it there okay so when you started you already had a, a minus 20 uh, minus 20 sanity points. You're at 80 already. For you to trigger or to lower the maximum um, chain combo, you need at least 75 and below. So if this is 100, um, you're going to be you're going to benefit from uh, activating all nine here. As you can see, all nine are activated because nine times uh, sorry, three times three is going to be um three times three is going to be nine squares multiplied by three sanity for each square so that's 27 so if you're going to do the math 100 if it's this is at 100 then minus 27 you're at 73 so you're below 75 then this definitely will trigger 
your um, 15 for your maximum um, chain combo. So right now I'm at 80, so I need more or less around uh, what? Uh, around uh, 6. But definitely I'm going to sh show you the maximum because from 80, it's going to be minus 27. It's now 53. So get, get, you get it why you need to do the maximum square so that you could avail of the lowered uh, max from 33 to 15 in terms of achieving your maximum chain combo. So that's the first one that I want to point out. That's You should do that imme immediately on your first active skill. Okay, Regardless if the boss is only 4 tiles, 2 tiles, or 1 tile. So you should do it. Okay, so I actually skipped through the whole thing. So we're gonna, we're gonna, next is going to damage for multi-tile bosses. So I forgot. So as you can see here, just gonna be, uh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so the smaller damages for multi-tile bosses is three, three, four, four, seven. Take note on the biggest damage. So it's 10,445. So the 33% is based on the max damage. So 10, 4, 4, 5 um, time multiplied by 33%. Let's do the math. Let's do the actual math here. So it's 3, 4, 4, 7 in what I have here. Okay. Just to point to you guys that um, the math is correct. So the 33% is going to be good it's not very low but it's decent enough that you can use um you can use her in multi multi-tile bosses so again that answers um how effective her active skill is and the last one let's move over to um the chain combo so as you remember, my um, Lenora is not maxed yet, so she is really um, at level 50 something uh, versus my Arya, which is all maxed out, MBT and uh, everything. So she is really maxed out and her damage is definitely going to be bigger. So as you can see there, let's just, uh, that's the damage of hero. Then damage of uh, Sikare. Pax damage is going to be 3515. Then that is the damage of Lenore. So it's at 11782. The last damage is going to be with Arya, which is 7913. So that's right now a big gap in terms of damage. But if you want to close, you know, if you want to close the gap for that damage, definitely you have to take her to um, Ascension 3. Then you have to max her out at level 80. Also max out her up for her affinity. And also max breakthrough her. So, I'll, you know, in the future, if I do max breakthrough her, we'll do a comparison of the actual damage. But definitely... I think she could be closer to that. Probably, you know, creep up a bit in terms of damage. Because again, the discussion right now is whether you can substitute Lenore for Arya or Lenore for Yao. So that is actually what people are discussing right now. So at this point, I cannot really answer that because we she's not at max. She's at 56. So just want to showcase you that, by the way, I was able to finish off that boss. So don't worry about it. Um, so that is it. So now you know the truth in terms of uh, the damage for her active skill, the damage for her chain combo, if she is comparable to both Yao and to Arya. And um, if, if your gamble has paid off. So... That is it. So ideally for her, you're going to be pairing her with healers, not even with Mei. Mo Mei won't help her that much because she increases um, she increases their their sanity system. So she has her sanity has to go down, not go up. So she has to be insane for her to perform well. Um, she does need a healer, though. Um, ideally, um, healer for this faction would do or this uh, element. 
But uh, I've seen what Novio can do, and Novio can really, you know, uh, help her out in terms of surviving. Um, Giles or Giles will complement her because Giles will lower um, the sanity system or the sanity meter quicker. As for her, it's going to be slower because it's three per tile, and it's only every time you use your you use your what do you call this? You use your active skill. So if both Giles and Lenore are in one team. I can't wait for that demo because I think that would be worth seeing because that would be crazy damage, especially if both are maxed. And I will do that as soon as I have both of them at maxed. Okay, so again, last is going to be... She's going to be ideal for mobs, especially for those who are far out from her. Hard to reach if you don't have a teleporter. Her kit is going to be good for her active skill, especially for her equipment. And um, as you saw there for multi-tiled multi bosses, she may be used. The damage for the reduced damage for after the first one is not really that bad. It's 33% of the total damage of the initial damage of the active skill. So that is it. So I think she's worth it. I think she is going to be bonkers when I max her out. I can't wait for that. And I can't wait to have um, Giles as well with her in a team. So looking forward to, you know, doing more for this sanity team. And if you guys are still here, please do consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot. Thank you guys. Take care. Stay safe. I hope this helps. And uh, this is the Warden. And I'm out here.